Alright, so welcome to Nick's Kitchen Calamities, episode 3. I had a bit of a request last time, we were, we were at a lunch and I was accused of making all sorts of unhealthy things and making Alex overweight. So I'm going to um, prove two things today. A, Alex is not overweight and B, it's not my fault even if he was. Because the stuff that I cook, mondo, eh? it's really healthy. Like vegetables and and healthy things. So we've got some lean meat, porterhouse steaks, they were cheap and I'm poor. When you're handling meat, especially if it's not quite fresh and you do feel like licking your fingers, make sure you wash your fingers afterwards before handling any other food. Some really horrible looking broccoli, two big massive spring onions, ginger, and you can actually smell that. No, you can't smell it? Okay. Red chili, portobello mushrooms, nice and big and brown. That's how I like them, mushrooms that is. Some rice noodles, they're just basically rice, but long. One more thing. Got some Asiatic condiments, Shuan rice, chew, and some yu, sesame seed oil. Now over here it says, that says yu. Some mushroom flavor superior dark soy sauce. And this is a lobster humping a man. And so what happens when lobsters hump men, you get lobster urine. Final ingredient, of course, very, very important, a glass of Cabernet Sauvignon. Remember, if you're cooking without wine, you're missing out. Mm. First thing I'm gonna do, using a very sharp knife, I like my globals, very sharp, but you can use practically any knife you want, even a butter knife, just make sure it's fairly sharp. But these are best. I'm gonna trim the fat. It's actually also full of omega-3, iron, riboflavin, thiamine, vitamin B, vitamin D, vitamin A, cyanide, arsenic, all sorts of good stuff. I'm even gonna trim off this little bit of excess. And yes, Claudia, this is for you. Very thinly sliced as beef. You're not looking for structural integrity here, you're just looking for a thin slice of beef. I'm cutting strips. So I should stop singing now. Uh, so we're nearly done. Remember always wash your hands. And if you have one of these handy, you can order them on eBay. I think they're just called shoulder towels. So you just look up shoulder towel on eBay. A good one will probably set you back a couple of grand. You can get cheap ones for two, three hundred dollars. And they're really handy to have. They just talk over your shoulder. So make sure you get one that fits you well. And you can then just wipe your hands on it. Pretty nifty. Mushrooms getting wet. Thinly sliced the mushrooms as well. It's really hard to do on this angle. So I'm stick these mushrooms in a bowl. Simply rinsed this broccoli. And oh shit. Um, here's a little trick you might not know. Oh, here's a little trick you might not know. If you drop your shoulder towel on the floor, make sure you rinse it. Just give it a bit of a squeeze. And good as new. There you go. If you drop a piece of cauliflower on the floor, make sure it's cauliflower, not broccoli, and then rinse it. Here's the cauliflower. This cauliflower is green. I grew it myself when I was on LSD. Little bunches, little flower bunches, little green bunches of joy. Chili, lift those seeds out. Now's a good time to have another drink of wine. These are pre-rinsed. Oh shit. We have a bit of a situation here because it seems that uh, one of the spring onion alien pods have attacked the chilies. But sending a few harpoons in, that ought to do it just very carefully. Get it to the sink. Kill it. All right, that's now dead. It should now be safe to throw out in the bin. That was exciting. <sighs> Got my little heart pumping now. So we get here to so this big green bit. That or oh shit. It's a little secret I'll show you. With spring onion, if you drop it on the floor, you can actually just rinse it off. Just using normal tap water should be fine. Most households will have it. If you don't, contact your local council and ask if that's maybe a possibility for your area. Big chunky green rings of spring onion. Garlic. When you cook garlic, it loses most of its health benefits. I just made that up by the way. There we go, all done. Last but not least, as far as preparation is concerned, I have a piece of ginger here. Here's an easy way of preparing ginger. Cut it into a square. There you go. Slice it down the middle like that. And then just nice thin slices for added variety. There we go. Next step is to get our Heat it up using a stove. Scan pan wok, 
also need to heat a little bit of water for the rice long things. Oh, shit. Now, if you spill a bit of water on the floor, you can actually just rinse it. There we go. And straight back in there. Beautiful. Waiting, waiting, waiting for things to heat up. All right. This is uh, some olive oil in a box. That much olive oil, not a lot. A little bit of this pure sesame seed oil. This is by Yil. This is a little secret for you. Yil in Cantonese means shit, but it's spelt differently to this. Don't use too much Yil because it really makes it very strong in, in, in flavor. So only use a little bit of Yil at any one time, unless you want it to taste like shit. So our olive oil and our Yil is now pretty hot, so we're gonna stick in this Mm, that smells beautiful. I can smell ginger and garlic and spring onion and chili. This is perfect for cooking with. And so that just goes straight in there. This comically pair of oversized chopsticks. That's racist myth. This is a standard size chopstick. These are giant size chopsticks. This is what sumo wrestlers use. It's alright, some of my best friends are Taipanese Asian people, whom I love. And now let's put the meat in. Make sure you make appropriate sound effects as you do so. Oh, crap. Actually, uh, so here's a little secret you might not know. If you get a bit of meat on the wall, you can actually just throw it back in. You know what? Not get the knife in there. Your green cauliflower and your mushrooms. She won rice chew. Lobster humping man sauce. This is actually uh, fish sauce, by the way. Uh, mushroom flavored soy sauce. Alright. The best way to see if your water is in fact boiling or not is just to use your finger, snip it in there. If it's hot, your lip after you take it out. Then your water is boiling. Judo chop! Now I was watching uh, a cooking episode with Beyonce the other day. She said if you want it hot, then you shouldn't put a lid on it. Thank you Beyonce for your wise words about cooking. Add just a little bit of salt, just to help. It's okay if you drop a little bit of wine on the floor. I think I broke myself. Stop filming me. White rice long sticks, which cook in just under 16 hours. Some of this beefy stuff out into the middle there. Green things, look at that. And we've even got some left for lunch tomorrow. Some chopsticks. And it's ready to go. Ding, 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 ding. Mm. That's how you make healthy Asian stuff. If you enjoyed this week's episode, make sure that you check back next week and maybe watch the previous week's episodes as well. Next week, we're going to be surprising you with a brand new format. It's going to be a little bit exciting. We're going to have a little bit of extra stuff there. Now, finally, you got to help me out for a little bit. So just to prove that Alex is not overweight, as you all know, show your support by subscribing. Love you guys. Yeah, I like girls. I, I don't like guys. I'm more like I love guys. I love, I love. I love guys like all of you. I, I love my chopsticks. I love my chopsticks out there. <laughs>